Welcome to Mr. Ramsey Land. Today we are studying about erosion. And we've set up a sand table here with which we're going to pour water through this trough to study the effects of how much sand will move when we pour the water over a minute and when we pour the same amount of water over 30 seconds. And so these are our students today who are learning about erosion. And we're going to ask Natalie. Natalie, what do you think is going to happen when you pour the water through that trough onto our little riverbed here? What do you think is going to happen? The sand's probably going to move, like, not that much. Okay, so if we pour the water slowly, so it takes a whole minute to pour the water out of that pitcher, you're thinking that there's going to be a lot of erosion or not that much erosion? Not that much. Not that much? Okay. Now, Julissa, I see you sitting there. Julissa, can you tell us what, what is erosion? What does erosion mean? Erosion is when waves, wind, water, and waves, like, they go and then they, like, just, they move through. So wind, water, or waves move? What do they move? They... What do you think we're going to move here? We're going to move sand. That's right. So I want you guys to imagine that the water flowing through this trough is maybe a tributary. Maybe it's a small stream after a rainstorm. And that water flows into a riverbed. If it flows quickly, will there be a lot of erosion, a lot of movement? If it, if it flows slowly, will there be just a small amount of erosion. So we're going to do this slowly and I need a timekeeper over here. So here's our timekeeper. We have it set to one minute. So this is slow pour and Kobe is going to hit that start button right there when we say go. And when we do that, Natalie is going to slowly pour that pitcher of water while she's holding the trough so it doesn't spill all over the place. And we're going to see what happens. So Natalie, I'm going to help you hold this silly thing so it doesn't Natalie, are you ready? Now this is really slowly, right? Okay, Kobe, are you ready with the timer? On your mark. Get set. Remember, this is slow. Slowly. And go. Slowly. Good. Good. Slowly pouring. Ten seconds is clicked off. A little bit faster, so you're about halfway through. Very slowly. Right. Right there. Okay, a little faster. You want to be about halfway through the pitcher at 30 seconds. We're at 35 seconds there. Okay, that's halfway. Should be about halfway. Watch yourself there. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Got to keep a steady stream. Steady stream. Good. Keep going. Keep going. You're doing fine. Should be done in about 10 seconds. Keep going. Should be all poured out in about 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay. Let's look at our stream bed here. We see a lot of movement of sediment right here where most of the water landed. And notice that most of the water ran to one side of the stream bed when it was slow. And we can see a little bit of a cut in the, in the riverbed right along here. Now, boys and girls, is that a big cut in the riverbed or is that a pretty shallow cut? Shallow. shallow. Did we move some sediment down here with the water? Yes. Yes, we see some deposition down here. Okay, now our next test, we're going to pour the same amount of water, but we're going to pour it in 30 seconds instead of one minute. So it'll be like flood conditions, okay? All right. Good job. Why is there a bug?